Hi, it's Angela again. We're getting ready to do the third and final recording of the various pieces of jewelry from Carol and Gail's um, estate stuff. So uh, this recording will include the, uh, the six pieces that we had appraised, and they'll be near the end of the video. Okay, we're going to start with number 73 here. It is uh, not, it's costume jewelry. It's not gold, not diamonds, not zirconies. It's just an attractive piece of costume jewelry. It's a tennis bracelet. It's really quite pretty actually. I'm going to see if I can hold my camera real still so you can see it. I'm actually going to pick it up because it's pr it's prettier than it appears to be there. So I'm going to hold real still. Yeah. Anyway, okay that's not too bad. Okay, then we move on to number 74. These are a little pair of sterling silver clip-on earrings with a little stone in the middle, um, a black stone. One of you geology people out there might be able to tell us what the stone is, but I don't know. So clip-ons, that's number 74. Number 75, little um, pair of clip-ons, again, sterling silver with a little piece of turquoise in them. Number 76 is a silver ring with, uh, it's a tiger eye ring. 77, I think, is a men's ring. And it's silver with um, that little crushed uh, turquoise triangles decorating the outside. 78 is silver ring with um, leaf embossed. And then I don't think that's real turquoise. It doesn't appear to be, but it's a pretty ring. And then here, same with 79, another silver ring. And uh, with this, I, I believe that's fake turquoise. I'm not certain about that, uh, but I think it is. Still a very pretty ring. Here is number 80. Um, this is, uh, I believe, a synthetic stone. Let me see what my notes say about that. Uh, 14 karat gold plated ring with synthetic jade stone. Try to get a clear picture. See if I can hold real still. There we go. Okay, and moving on to 81 and 82. These are two pieces of Black Hills gold. Uh, this is a little cross with an 18 inch chain. 82 is the little um, grape leaves with a 18 inch chain. Okay, and then we move on over here to number 83. These are a pair of um, Black Hills Gold clip-on earrings. There we go. Let's see if I can turn this other one over. Okay, and we're gonna move up here to number 84. 84 is 84. 18 inch sterling silver chain with a zirconi pendant. Okay, 85 is a, a round aquamarina, marine or whatever you call it, or topaz uh, pendant. It's, yeah, it's. Uh, 14 karat gold chain, and it's a 16 inch chain. Okay. 86 is an 18 inch gold chain, 14 karat gold chain. She said that the little uh, rose isn't stamped, so she could, I don't know if that's gold or not. I think she said it was, and I think she actually tested it and said it was not gold. It wasn't stamped gold. Sometimes things uh, are gold even if they're not stamped, but she tested it and said that the rose was not even though the chain was. So that's 86. 87. Um, Aquamarina or Topaz round pendant with 18 inch chain. This was 87. These aren't coming out very clear. Maybe if I back up. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, 88 is an 18 inch, I think it's called a serpentine, 18 inch serpentine, um, 14 karat gold chain, and it's got one of the nice safety clasps on it. 89 is another, um, not topaz, aquamarine, I think that must be Bur Carol's birth uh, stone, uh, aquamarina with the delicate chain, 18 inch chain, and there's little tiny um, diamonds right here on the top of the pendant. Okay, 89. Okay, now we're going to 90. 90 is a 20 inch fortune carat gold chain, and this is um, tanzanite. Three little triangles there. I kind of remember Carol wearing this actually. Okay. Tanzanite. Let's see what else it says about this. 